A group to interview the, the Paula Sobral from Marlinsko uh, project. Uh, she informed us about the, the project and the goals of the uh, project. Uh, it was a good experience. Uh, Paula was really nice, and Marlinsko uh, project uh, is uh, a wonderful project. Uh, we also went to the beach to uh, see. Uh, to see what the people do with the marine letter. Uh, we were able to understand the impact of uh, marine letter and the dangers of uh, microplastic. <coughs> so if you recall on Friday, we had the opportunity to hear from Paulo Sobral from Arlisco. And that's the European organization whose aim is to raise social awareness about marine litter and also to innovate new ways in which we can try and tackle that problem with marine litter. So just a few words about Marlisco. So this was started in June 2012 and it's grown substantially in just a span of two years. So since then it's now in 15 countries and even to this day it's gaining a lot of momentum. Now Paula said that the problem with marine litter is very catastrophic because it has a lot of harmful consequences. Not only does it make our beaches, beaches less pretty, <laughs> and it hurts the appearance of our beaches. I don't know why I'm slipping up on that word. <laughs> Something about presentation color today, but it's also harmful because it hurts the tourism there, the wildlife, and of course also the economy. Now she mentioned also a few facts and figures. So of all the waste that goes on to the beaches, 75% of it is plastic. And of that, the vast majority of it, 92%, is smaller than a bottle cap. I guess a natural question meant to ask is, where is all this plastic coming from? And she said that a lot of it is coming from a lot of the everyday products that we use, the household cleaning products we have, the cosmetics, and the exfoliants. We asked her what are some of the challenges that she faced in trying to get the organization to take action and she said that it was great that a lot of um, the staff were very dedicated, very committed to their work. So it was great having that momentum. But one problem was that they didn't have any volunteers. And they could, of course, use all the help that they could get. The problem is very clear to see. If you go onto the beach, you can see a lot of garbage on the sand and in the beach. But if we give the attention that it rightly deserves, like she said, then she's very confident that she can achieve the goals that she and her organization have laid out. Portugal is well known for its beautiful beaches. Many people overlook the amount of work that goes into cleaning up these beaches. Yesterday we met with Elizabeth Raposo, <laughs> which is one of the staff members of Merlesco, which is a European organization which aims to bring awareness to litter issues and also find solutions. They regularly clean beaches and carefully monitor the amount of small pieces of litter there. Okay, one of the, so they have different techniques. So one of the techniques is that you use one, one meter or two meter square, which you take out with one inch of sand and you sieve it to see if there's any litter in it. So one of the litters that we found were microplastics, which is like small pellets of plastic, which come from exfoliants and other type of things, which, which like fishes eat and which is really bad for them. As well, we also looked around the beach and there's different types of litter that was there. The most common one was uh, cigarette butts and like uh, cotton bud sticks, which, is com which comes from the habits, like uh, Ramoso said, the habits of the people that go to the beaches. So mostly people would like uh, take their cigarettes or like just put it in the ground and there was a lot of them, like we almost found like over 200. And then like um, also cotton bud sticks, they throw them into the toilet, which they're so small that they can go through like the filters and then they will go and end up into ocean. So like, someone mentioned that like, we met like a local, Martini, Martini Otherly, who also um, had a really good opinion about these uh, oceans. And he thought like, because of Marlisco, it was a really, it's really helpful to like save the oceans and like they're like cleaning it up and like doing good jobs. And like everyone's so conscious about how like, to like save it and like people are trying but like there's like habits that they can't like stop like 
people can't just stop smoking like in a second. So they just kind of drop it out of bounds. So if there's like more awareness, this could stop. Now we have our video. Seems that we work on what we 